Hello, my name is Randy Silbach, and today I am going to be talking about how to access and check out ebooks on Hoopla from the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. The objectives of this video are to learn how to access Hoopla from the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library website and to learn how to check out an ebook in Hoopla. Note you must have a library card through the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library already to be able to access Hoopla. We will start out on the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library's website. Here, there are two different ways to be able to get to Hoopla. The first is to hit the Download It button, and there is a direct link to Hoopla. The second way is to hit the type of material you are wanting to check out. So we will go ahead and hit ebooks. Once to the ebooks page, go ahead and scroll to the bottom where there is a link to Hoopla Digital and go ahead and click there. This takes you to the library's Hoopla informational page. Here you will find information about the basics for Hoopla, checkout limits, as well as a guide on how to sign up and log into Hoopla. Scrolling back up, we will go ahead and hit Access Hoopla, which will take us directly to Hoopla's homepage. If you don't have a Hoopla account, you will click the Get Started Today button in the middle of the page. From there, you will enter an email and create a password. You will be asked to choose the library and you will need to select Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Lastly, you will enter your library card number located on the back of your card and then your PIN number. If you no longer remember your PIN number, please contact a library staff member for help. If you already have a Hoopla account, at the top of the page you will enter your email and password and then click Login. Once you are logged in, you will be on your My Hoopla page. Your My Hoopla page will include any currently borrowed items that you have currently checked out. You will be able to see how many more titles you can check out for each month. You will also be able to see your history. On the bottom of the page, there will be recommendations for you as well. There are two main ways to look through materials on Hoopla. You can either search in the search bar here in the middle of the page, or you can hit browse and browse through audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, or television. Going to ebooks, I am then able to browse through them through recommended titles, featured titles, popular titles, or categories. There's also a filter button which gives you chances to limit the audience, release date, or exclude certain types of material. To check out a book, you will first find the title you are wanting. So I'm going to go ahead and click on The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. Once here, it will open up a separate window of just the book. It will include information for the book, such as the summary, as well as what number of book it is in a series, if it is in a series. It will also include a rating for the title. To check it out, you will hit the Borrow button. There is also a heart to add it to your favorites list if you would like. Once it says Read instead of Borrow, you are then able to open the title. Once you hit the Read button, it will then open your book. Here you will have the options to search through chapters as well as bookmark items. For example, I will skip to chapter 1, and this is what the first chapter will look like. To switch pages, you can go to the side, there's an arrow to hit to go forward, and an arrow to hit to go back. When you are done reading your book for the time being, you can go up to the corner and hit the close button. This will take you back to the individual title. If you would like to resume reading, 
you can hit the resume button here that will take you to where you left off. Looking back, remember that the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library had access to Hoopla through a direct link under the Download It tab. You could also get to Hoopla through the Hoopla informational page that the library has up. Then to check out books, remember that you click on the title, you hit the Borrow button, and then you click the read button once the title is ready and the book is yours for the checkout time. If you have any other questions, you can contact me at rsilbac at g.emporia.edu. Remember, my name is Randy Silbach, and I hope you have a wonderful day.